Hi, and well, we're at what's called the River City Brewing Company in Jacksonville, Florida. We have countdown, countdown, countdown. Do, 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 do. We're about two hours, 45 minutes until the Bull Parade of Lights. We have a good location, and we're awaiting. Waiting chocolate cake and an English bread pudding a la mode. It's supposed to be traditional, which means it's heated with lemonade as we boarded <coughs> hot chocolate. Well, well, um, we'll see if the refills on the hot chocolate are better. But so far, it's kind of disappointing. But. Stay with us. Mention chocolate, not to mention your teeth. Stay with us and don't miss a thing on a day in the life of Cisco. Hi, I'm having for our afternoon tea. Uh, what we call tea time, my breads. I'm having a quadruple chocolate cake, chocolate bits, chocolate layers, and oh, all this good chocolate which I just adore, chocolate, and my son is having an English tradition called the English bread pudding, heated, served with caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, and vanilla ice cream on the side. Now my son will tell you if it is good or not, but it looks delicious. It's a British tradition. So, how do you like your bread pudding? It looked perfect. Well, Tom Spot. I ain't got nothing really to complain about. The bread pudding's right. And as you can see, it's got the little, little bits in it. The crap. Those are the British form of raisins called crescents. Crescents, which is raisins. It's got the vanilla ice cream. The vanilla ice cream was good and uh, chilled. In fact, as you can see here, it's not even 100% melted yet, but it's not, not that. To. But it's not that warm, so that helps. That uh, it did have a little spot of whipped cream next to it. The uh, bread pudding was cooked right. It wasn't overdone. It looks perfect. I mean, it's all around perfect. The uh, cocoa is only real filling. That's only because they used a coffee maker to warm the water instead of using a tea kettle to heat it. Uh, all around, it's it's good. It's got nothing to complain about, and it tastes right. And I've been having fun with it. I have to make sure I come back here to try their food. If there's any indication. If there's any indication, their food is definitely worth eating. So I'll have to go back here and actually have some food. See what I come up with. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, We're at the River City, what's called Brewing the Company. The River City Brewing Company. But was, we don't drink alcohol. <laughs> we don't drink alcohol. They're independently owned and operated for 20 years. Uh, spectacular views of the historic St. John's River, which is on my right, based on where I'm sitting at. On site, handcrafted beer. That means they brew their own beers. Uh, for anyone's curious, that's a uh, beer brewery thing in that glass case right there. That's what brews beer. All right. Uh, private dining for any occasions such as weddings, anniversaries, corporate events, and dinners with accommodations from 20 to 350 guests. Live entertainment for up to 700 guests. Uh, the, the facility is two stories. The second floor is basically more bars and dining, and the first floor is bars and dining. Uh, I don't know if those docks there are for employees or corporate, yeah, for so, what. Uh, I'd have to ask. I have to get someone to give us a tour of the place. Well, that's it. So here's my mom. There you have it. We're going to be here at the River City Growing Company until the boat lights. And as all of you requested, we will be filming it for the show. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Well, that's an experience.
three hot cocos, three fails. First one was so cold, it wasn't even lukewarm. The second one, hot cocoa, was, well, coffee warm. Cocoa's supposed to be steaming hot. Third one was warmer than that one, but still not steaming hot. And, uh, well, that one is the story in itself. It had ants in it. Now, as an apology, they took the drinks off. Uh, allow me to ask you a very simple question, YouTube. Three failed Cocos. The last one with ants in it. Taking only the drinks off? Do you think that's really an apology? Now let me put it to you this way. When I eat at a place, half my tip is on the drinks alone. Basically, if my drinks so it stays empty so long that I don't get enough drinks and I get thirsty, well, that's not good. And then when you order hot cocoa, it's not hot enough to melt your whipped cream in it. Really? Tell her what the manager said. And then, well, we asked the manager about the little incident with the last cocoa, and the manager said, and I quote her on this one, but she probably didn't notice when she opened the pack. <coughs> oh, That's the right arm about it, people. So, not cool. Thanks for listening, and I'm definitely probably not coming back here again, ever.